Noko, and this is one of my favorite children's books named Stuff. Gully lived in Washington, or was it Tennessee? It doesn't even matter. It's how you lived, you see. Gully had a lovely home, location still unknown. But his house was overflowing with all the stuff he owned. He had stuff from shopping sprees and birthday gifts galore, games that he had never played, and toys he'd long ignored. There were puzzles with pictures left much to desire, and games missing pieces he needed to retire. He had two dozen teddies and other critters too, all jumbled in the bottom of polyester zoo. A bag of party favors from Sally's birthday bash filled with plastic dinosaurs destined for the trash. There were bright blue roller skates he really thought he'd wear till he took them on a test run and had a little scare. There were clothes he'd never worn from his Aunt Amanda Sue, because each year as Goldie grew, she sent him something new. He had stashed them in a closet with all the other things that used to seem like good ideas. A hamburger that sings? One fine day, the moment came. He ran right out of space. He opened up his closet and all that stuff fell in his face. So Gully did some cleaning and made a great big pile. I'm very sad to say it towered half a mile. Gully pondered what to do with his enormous stack. He didn't want to throw it out and he couldn't take it back. Some of what he piled up was simply much too small. The time had come to pass it on to someone not so tall. He decided to set loose his crit the critters in his zoo. He would find them better homes and a better view. There were 47 books he'd taken from his shelves. He could donate to the library for kids to help themselves. A few things needed sprucing up, some love or a repair. The toys that he had cared for still had years to spare. But some things were so broken to Gully's great dismay, instead of being treasures, they would end up thrown away. As Gully looked around him, he noticed what remained. He realized that all his favorites, all could be explained. The stuff he truly cherished wasn't purchased on a whim. His first and dearest teddy had been everywhere with him. Most of his memories, his best memories, like his first badge as a scout, were from time spent with good friends and catching his first trout. So even if it's tempting to buy the latest stuff, there really comes a time. When enough is just enough. The next day, his grandma called to learn what his birthday wish. What gift this year, Goli, this year, dear Goli dear? A truck, a game, a fish? So Goli contemplated, just what would he adore? He now knew from his experience that sometimes less is more. Then Goli had a great idea. He had asked for something small. He had something that would last a while and benefit us all. Actually, Grandma, I think I'd like a seed. I'll plant a tree and watch it grow. That's really all I need.